I spent six months making this cosplay and now I'm taking it to the Winter Cosplay Championship, which is actually three different costume contests, and I'm competing in two of them, the Hallmat Cultural Cosplay Exchange Program and the Nordic Cosplay Championship. The third is the Jonggi International Cosplay Festival, but I'm not in that one because it's for duo groups only. But the GICF winner wins a trip to South Korea, the NCC winner wins a trip to Sweden, and the HCC EP wins a trip to Japan. With prizes like that, it's attracted some of the best cosplayers in the area. Some of them I know and some of them I don't, but I'm gonna get to see everybody at the mandatory reception before prejudging Thursday afternoon. And to make sure I got there on time, we left Atlanta at 6 a.m. We arrived after eight hours only to wait in line to park and then wait in line to check in. But we were pretty lucky because apparently that parking line got much worse. We made it. So the reception is at four, but then my prejudging is not until 7.44. And if you don't know how cosplay contests work, basically the actual stage show is on Sunday, but the actual judging happens today. So today I'm going to go into a little room and I'm going to have probably like eight judges and they're all going to look at my costume up close. And this is basically where I'm going to either win or lose. <laughs> so wish me luck. But luckily for me, I have my amazing friend Pins is going to come be my handler. They're going to help me get dressed uh, and they're going to help me make sure I have everything I need in prejudging. I'm going to the reception. Ah, that'll be full of people tomorrow. I want to follow Miku. Think who knows where I'm going. I made it to the reception and I finally got my first look at some of the cosplays. Now, some people had later prejudging times like me, so a lot of us weren't in cosplay yet, but some people already had their props in the room. And I now present to you the Chiefy Creates Pig. <laughs> Can I boop him on the nose? Of course. Time on the pig than my we also got introduced to all of the judges who are all cosplayers that have participated in international cosplay competitions before. And some of them came from all over the world to judge our cosplays. Hi everyone, my name is Kay from Kay Cosplay. I am also from Australia, but I'm currently living in Japan. But after the announcements were made, I grabbed snacks and headed back to the room to do my makeup and eat food before Pin showed up to help me put Miku on. You look so cute. What are you? You f <laughs> First of all, this. <laughs> Cut on the cricket and turn. Oh my god. They did not. Oh, the leak. It's a leak. That's what it is. Miku protection. They did not tell me they were doing this. You that like your security guard? I love it. <laughs> But with my utensil drawer by my side, it was time for the corset. Did you see the little initials on it? No. There's initials on it. It says BM. It's my grandma's initials. Cute. I wanted to put them somewhere. I was like, where can I put this where like, it won't be seen? But I'll know it's there. But you'll know it's there. And now she has my back. <gasps> All right, how does this feel? Good. You want to go more? Can you go more? That's a you question. That's a you question. Proves that I made this fit. How big is my gap? Um, two and a half, three inches. That's fine. Not to keep knocking Joe, but anytime Joe's done it, I have like a six inch gap. Oh yeah, she's snatched. Oh yeah. And now I just need wig first, then the nails, and then the fork, and we can go. Okay, I tried to do the thing where you do your nails last, but that was really annoying with the wig on. So I only have three nails for pre-judging, but they really don't care about that kind of thing. They don't really care about your makeup. They don't. You can go to pre-judging with no makeup on. They'll be totally cool about it. But three nails. My utensil drawer. Let's go. I lost the nail. Ooh. Losses with one hand. <laughs> We got back to the prejudging room with enough time to fawn over the contestants and for there to still be snacks. Wait. But then they told me I was next, and that's when the nerves kicked in. I'm nervous. You're gonna do great. I'm nervous. You're a winner in my heart. Hi. It's about not bumbling like a moron in prejudging. You're not gonna bumble like a moron, and I'm here to keep you on track. Prejudging is truly where contests are won and lost. So 
this was the big moment. Just got done with prejudging. How do you feel that it went? I did good. I said all the things that I wanted to say. And more. Pins hold up the book. Pins hold it held up the book and like pointed stuff out. I got called Vanna White. It was a highlight. Did you? Yes. <laughs> Somebody said thank you, Vanna. Oh. But I was aggressively tapping different photos. Uh, I don't. They all seem very excited, but you can never really tell how you did. But I remembered all the stuff I wanted to say. Except the pockets, but that's okay. Except my pockets. I didn't say I have a pocket. Do, do a little spinny spin. Oh, it's so funny. People are getting pictures of their back. <laughs> Friday and Saturday had nothing to do with the comp, so for now, let's skip to me being nervous on Saturday night. Tomorrow's the big day. Really nervous. And I know I'm gonna be really anxious tomorrow until I'm like ready and where I'm supposed to be, but it's gonna be Miku's big shining moment in the sun. I've worked really hard on this and I've worked really hard, not just on the cosplay, but on the skit itself. So I'm really excited to show it to everybody, but I'm also super nervous. <laughs> Wish me luck. Well, I woke up at 6 a.m. I hydrated, I did my ridiculous hairstyle to keep the wig on my head. Goose puddled on the floor. This is a big bag of all this stuff I'm gonna take backstage. Uh, I should probably brush those bangs. Fork. Starting to get nervous. Glue the wig to my head today. I haven't done it at all. Never done it before. Gonna glue my wig to my head today. Got most of Miku on and then got Pins' help again with the corset. And then it was time to go down for rehearsals. We're just doing rehearsals. It's just rehearsals right now. There's no need to be scared. We're there. Yeah, we're here. I got, I think I see the dangerous ladies. Is that is that the ones in the comp? Hey, dangerous ladies. Do you guys know where we go? No way. I like how I yelled dangerous ladies. <laughs> and you're Zuko. I like Zuko is probably really dangerous. Yeah. Oh, I see Amanda. We're in the right place. Oh, pretty ball gown. Oh, it's big back here. Can I get a twirl from you with the fork? We got there early enough to where I got to chill for a minute, but then it was time to get in line for rehearsals. And we realized you could see what was on stage from backstage, and um, I bet you can guess what song was playing. Do, 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 do. Don't fall off the stage. I'm not going to fall off the stage. And then it was my turn to get to practice my skit on stage for the very first time. not going to show it to you yet, but this is where I realized I should have been doing more cardio because I was winded. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? It looks so cool. I'm crying. <laughs> I feel like I can't breathe. Thank you. I can't breathe yet. But after I caught my breath, there was quite a while before the actual call times. So we went back to the Christmas tree so Pins could play with the gimbal and get me hero shots of Miku for the start of this video. I'm eating. A bunch of these. Also, earlier I I was I ate like three cheeses. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I dropped one, and it didn't fall on the floor. Did it fall? I don't know. <laughs> you want cheese? Yes, actually. Are these regular? They're or extra toasty. toasty. That's supreme cheese. It. So it's excited go for people to see Kay and um. Kay's skit was so fucking so wild. Real quick wild. changes for two people. For two people, a rotating prop, like a big rotating I want I want to ask her how they did that. So we found out that the way the competition's gonna go is they're gonna do the solo walk-ons, the solo skits, so me, and then the duo walk-ons, and then the duo skits. But we also found out that I am the first skit. <laughs> I have to go first. <laughs> Because Miku's always number one. <laughs> I'm zero one. But my number's 22. Hopefully the crowd will be warmed up by the solo walk-ons. So hopefully they pop them up. And then we can make a pop off. But eventually the time came. They lined us all up. And the patron saint of cosplay, the Yaya Han, took the stage. Are you ready for us to get the show started? <laughs> I had a goal of competing again this year and 
When I decided to do the Spiku, I, I thought for sure this was going to be the thing I was going to compete in, but there were several points when I was making this cosplay where I was real tempted to give up on competing again. Just the ruffle being wrong, the countless alterations to the hoop skirt, the sheer size of the wig and how long I would need to be in it to compete. But even with everything that's not right and everything I know a judge might have seen and not liked, I kept going because competing is just really fun. You get to meet so many amazing craftsmen. You get to feel like a special star backstage with everyone. And everyone that entered has absolutely amazing builds that you get to see up close. But for me, for this comp in particular, the biggest reason I came to compete was not to win. I came to dance. Please give it up for Sarah Spaceman. <laughs> Okay, we are monetized now, so copyright, I'm sorry, but I've secretly been working on learning and re-choreographing World Is Mine since I started making Miku, and I spent months making that background video. I made it in After Effects the same way I do my graphics for the channel, but of course I got to pull out all the cool tricks, all the fun effects, all the stuff that takes too much time to put in one video, and like I'm not really a dancer, but I love cosplay, and I love motion graphics, and where else in the world, as a 28-year-old woman, can I get on stage in a costume that I made, with graphics that I made, and present two art forms that I hold so close to my heart? It might seem really weird, but like, I hold motion design with as much love and value as I do my cosplay. and. It's what I do for a regular job, but if you work in any art field, you know that rarely do you get to make anything that is 100% your decisions. And this skit, this cosplay shit, this entire channel is 100% me. So know that when I say thanks for watching, I really f***ing mean it because you took the time to watch my art and that means the world is mine. <laughs> but I say all that to say, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. Thank you for valuing both sides of my art. Everybody watching the skits from backstage. Because we can see it from here. So good, so good. So we did not drop the fork, which was Boggy's. Um, now we're just watching everybody. It's so much fun. Yeah, everybody's so nice. We have a really good seat to watch the screen from yeah, the other side. Like, everybody is just like sitting here and we're clapping for everybody. We're like they talking. Yeah, it's fun. This is like the, the best group of cosplayers I've ever competed with. Winner crown is always a treat. It's, it's, we're having fun. So it's, it's an honor to just be back here, you know? There's cake. Look how good they look. Look at the pep talk. Oh, oh the pig! Oh, the pig! What's going on? The pig! The pig is on stage. It's the monster, monster hunter. Wait, I got one. The pig is back. The best boy. Pig wins yes, best yes, boy. Yes, they took my advice. They took my advice. Wait, what did you do? Azula bowed to Zuko. Finally. This skit was as amazing as we expected. It made everybody cry. It is on Kay's Instagram, and you should absolutely go watch it after this video. Woo! Woo! And with that, 
the skits were wrapped up and we had to wait for the judges to deliberate. There's the judges leaving. They gotta go decide. Oh, look at the Janome. Look at the Janome. Yeah. There it goes. That's what they did to the Grinch yesterday. Uh, no, uh, there's one for best sewing. That's a combo embroidery and sewing machine. Very cool. Yay! Says be quiet. Says, says be says quiet. Cheer for the ninjas. Yeah, no, they were amazing. Judges went back on the stage. Everybody's. Why are you carrying the fork around? It's my emotional support fork. It's your emotional support fork. Okay. I'm the gentle joy. I need this. Oh, they're pulling us in. The judges awards are obviously people who we chose uh, for our own reasons. Um, so my judges award goes to entry number seven, So My Sharks! So my award goes to number 40, The Stitch Witches. Well, Anna and Elsa, because I tell you the embroidery on this was amazing. My judges award goes to number 36, Double J cosplay to Lucy and Rebecca. So, my judges award goes to number 24, Fashion Fantasy Sierra. Everyone here, and they are going to do an amazing job. 
when they go overseas to compete. Now it's time for the Nordic Cosplay Championship winners. Runner up. Runner up, yes. With the following motivation. A well-made costume and with great movement and presence on stage. Can I get a drum roll, please? The runner up for the Nordic Cosplay Championship 2023 Team US is... Contestant number 30, Alpaca Ash! Welcome to the stage! Ridiculous with the high, wonderful goal, it's insane! I love this Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Who will represent Team US in Sweden in July? next year on the Nordic Cosplay Championship 2023. With the following motivation. A very impressive and detailed costume and lots of high energy on stage. Drum roll please. Team US. Your finalist is contestant number 22. hit me until Monday night that this is the first time they've ever done an NCC prelim in the United States, which makes me the world's first NCC Team USA. So because the United States has never participated before, I'm not actually eligible to win the NCC, but after I participate, the United States will become a member nation, meaning that I am paving the way for future cosplayers. And that title alone is such an honor. But on top of that, I got a nod of approval from Yaya Han, a fist bump from Hoku Props, a pep talk from MK Cosplay Nerd, a hug from Sailor Pewter Fox, uh, and I got the boop the pig's nose. And that means the world is. Also, a big thank you to the Hallmat organizers, the staff, the stage ninjas. They did so much work to put all 40 something of us on that stage to have our moment in the sun and I cannot thank all of you enough. I also cannot thank enough my boyfriend Joe, my friend Pins, and my friend Snip for all of the footage y'all got for me at the con. This video would not be the way it is without y'all. So a huge thank you, and the biggest thank you to my utensil drawer. I could not have done it without you. But also make sure you break a needle on that like button to tell the YouTube robot that you appreciate that I've been editing for three days straight. And a big thank you to my big support tier patron. I have a list now, there's a lot of you. Bianca, Hardiki, Lunar, Gia, Lula Rush Cosplay, It's Glimmer, Delo's Fluffy Hair, Marcy, Frazier, So Into Music, Amelia, Julian, Reiko, Zen, Pin, Snip, Claire, and Jason. If you want to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon, but if you're just watching, liking, commenting, or subscribing, you're supporting the channel too. So thank you. Today I'm signing off as the world's first NCC Team USA. Let's go! Ooh.